welcome to lesson five where our goal today is to learn how to solve a proportion. Let's start things off with a couple of definitions. A ratio is a fraction comparing two things where a proportion is an equation with two ratios set equal to each other. If we look at what our first example is going to be, we can see what a ratio and a proportion are. Each of these fractions can be called a ratio. And when you set them equal to each other, that is a proportion. We'll be solving proportions, solving this equation. In order to solve an equation like this, we're going to be using the cross multiplication property. This says that you can take the diagonals and multiply them together and set them equal when you have a proportion. So we can take A and D and set it equal to B times C. This is always true for proportions. You must see the equal sign in the middle in order to do the cross multiplication property. Let's use that information to solve number one. All we have to do is cross multiply. We'll take the M and the three and multiply them together to get three M. And we'll take the 12 and the two and multiply them together to get 24. So we get an answer of 3m equals 24, which we still need to keep solving because we don't know what m is yet. I will divide both sides by 3, and we'll get an answer of m equals 8. Let's take a look at one that's just a little bit tougher. We're going to cross multiply again because we see that proportion. So we're going to cross multiply, and we're going to get 2x times 5. And we're going to get 4 times 3x minus 2. I'm going to write this with parentheses, 4 times 3x minus 2. That's going to allow us to distribute in the next step. So 2x and 5, they make 10x. And when we distribute the 4, we get 12x minus 8. Now we're in a variables on both sides situation. So I'm going to move the x term to one side. Normally, I would move the smaller term, but I'm going to move the 12x this time so that I don't have to do a multiple steps. This leaves me with negative 2x on the left and negative 8 on the right. And finally, I can divide by negative 2 to get my answer of x equals 4. The next few problems are going to be word problems. When we're doing a word problem, it's really important that you set up two ratios to make your proportion. In each of these ratios, we need to be careful to make sure that we keep the same units on top for each ratio and the same units on bottom for each ratio. So the word problem reads, a bag of candy weighs 12 ounces and contains 516 calories. The bonus bag of the same candy weighs 18 ounces. How many calories does it contain? So we're going to set up some ratios here. The first part says, what is the ratio of weight to calories in the smaller bag? So the smaller bag would have been the 12 ounce bag. So they're asked to weight to calories. Well, our weight is 12 ounces to calories means over calories. So we're going to set up a fraction over the number of calories, which is 516. Now, they ask us for the same information about the bonus bag. In the bonus bag, we have 18 ounces. I want to keep ounces on top since I did that the first time. So 18 ounces over the number of calories, which we don't know. That's the whole question. How many calories? We don't know. Let's call that C. So now to solve this problem, what you're going to do is you're going to set the two ratios equal to each other. So you're going to say 12 divided by 516 equals 18 over C. And to solve that, we are going to cross multiply. 12C equals 
18 times 516. My calculator tells me that this is 12C equals 9,288. And I can solve this by dividing by 12 to get C equals 774, again, by using my calculator. And we want to add the unit since this is a word problem. So that is 774 calories. All right, we have one more problem that is a word problem that we're going to solve with a proportion. So a caterer is planning a large dinner party. Two subs require a quarter of a pound of lunch meat. How much lunch meat will be needed for 35 subs? So we're going to just keep this with the units that are presented. Two subs is attached to a quarter pound of meat. So two subs require a quarter of a pound of meat. This is a ratio comparing the number of subs to the amount of meat necessary. Now we're going to set up another ratio that should be similar. This ratio says that we need 35 subs, since subs is on top. On the first ratio, we'll put it on top for the second. And then we don't know the amount of meat, so we'll just put x meat. And this problem will again be solved by cross-multiplying. 2 times x equals 35 times a quarter. That's 8.75. I divide both sides by 2, and I get x equals 4.375. Now remember, x represented an amount of meat, a number of pounds of meat. So we'll say 4.375 pounds to make sure our answer has context at the end. To summarize, when you are solving a proportion, you do it by cross multiplying. If you're given a word problem, you want to set up a couple of ratios and solve them as a proportion. When you're setting up these ratios, make sure that you keep your units consistent. Whatever unit goes on the top in the first ratio should go on the top in both ratios. As always, if you came away with anything else, make sure you write that down now. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.